Hello guys, welcome to the Flying Automation channel. In this video, we will learn about for each activity in UI path. And we'll also learn how to get files from folder and also get the count of files. So that's so let's go to the UI path and see this activity with example. For time saving, I have already created a program um, that is written here. So you can see in the see on the screen. So firstly, I run this program and show you the output. Then I will describe this program and make this program in front of you. So I'm running this program. So output is 22. And you can see here in the output section, all the file path coming in the output section. So uh, and describe here, I'm describing uh, describe here. So I'm using here uh, assign activity activity for uh, taking the path of the folder. And after that, I taking the for each activity here and in this activity I'm providing the here condition uh, get uh, get direct uh, directory dot get select file from this uh, given folder and all the files are written in the output panel using a right line activity and and here I'm using the assign activity and in the assign activity I have created the count variable and here you can see I'm increasing the uh, count of all the iteration with uh, one so i will create this program again in front of you then i hope you understand more so i'm creating here control n for each here i'm using assign activity in this activity i am here creating the control k folder path in this path I uh, are providing the path of this file path is I'm copying from the from this and I'm providing this path okay so here from this path and after that I'm using the four each activity in this activity here I am providing the expression that is for get get the all the file uh, file from the folder so here I it in the directory directory dot get files and in bracket pass the variable that we assign in the above assign activity folder path folder path so using this expression we get all the files from the folder so for uh, writing in the logs so in, you need to take the right line activity so i'm using a right line activity in the right line uh, activity i pass the current item dot to a string so using this all the files are written in the output panel so also we need also the count of the all the files so for that we need to we need to create a one assign activity again take a assign activity in this activity here i'm using the creating a variable control k count variable in this variable i'm assigning count plus one why because for all iteration uh, it's, it's increased the uh, value of count uh, by one so for uh, for all the loop coming uh, your count value increase by one then in the at the at the end your file count can be a store uh, could be a store in the count variable so it's giving uh, giving the error because the variable type so here i change the variable type and also change the scope of the variable so error resolved so after this i want to print the message or uh, total file counts so here i'm using the message box 
in this you can write the total file count total file count count is is plus count count so you can see here it's giving the error of the type as uh, would not convert in the string to double so for that you need to because you are providing a string value and it, this is a, a very uh, integer value so cannot be concatenate with the different uh, variable type so you need to change the variable type the, of the count so here i am using the str 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 using for convert the variable into a string format a string variable type so count variable converted in a string format so a string a string can be concatenated so our issue is wrong so i'm saving this file and run this file again you can see total file count is 22 and the, in the output section you can see the output as well so this is the output you can see here so i hope you understand the forest activity so that's it for today we will meet in the next video thanks for watching this video